All right, so this one I've been wanting to do for a long time. Uh, Dust, a tale of the Wired West. Yeah, not weird, wired. <laughs> so this game uh, holds a really special place in my heart because my dad played it, and he played like a lot of the Cyberflix games, which is who made this company. So Cyberflix... Uh, incorporated, I'm just reading off here the wiki, because unfortunately they went out of business. Cyber Cyberflix Incorporated was a computer game company founded in 1993 by Bill Appleton. Hmm, the same year I was born, how about that? Cyberflix was based in Knoxville, Tennessee. They made many interactive storytelling games in the 1990s, but stopped any and all productions in 1998 before finally going out of business in 2006. Well, let's see when this came out. So... Dust, the Tale of the Wired West is a computer game made for PC and Macintosh. It was released on June 30th, 1995 by Cyberflix and published by GTE Entertainment. So getting this game to work was, uh, it, it took quite a while because a lot of these old games, depending on what it is, does not like new hardware. It's really unfortunate. But anyways, so I actually still have the box. It's pretty rusted and damaged, but yeah. Um, this is one of my most prized possessions of video games. So I have some of the other Cyberflux games like Lunacus and Jump Raven. Let's see. Gotta be really careful with it because it's like starting to rip and it's pretty damaged. Um, and this isn't the original one that we had. Oh, take on here. How about that? So, in the box, because for some reason back in the day, my dad, he bought multiple copies, and I'm sure that's because we scratched them and cracked them and broke them and et cetera, et cetera. And so, like, this one's really cool because of how the uh, booklet is. I took the stuff out, but it's like a folding booklet. Yeah, and uh, there's actually two copies in here because my dad bought multiple copies of this game. But yeah, I love the uh, the disc for this one because it's like woodwork. But yeah, it's really cool, and at least the uh, the jewel case is in good condition. And then there's. You know, like some info, info on Cyberflix on the inside. It's like a little poster. Yeah, this is super, super old. Yeah, it's talking about just some different info. There's like t-shirts and different stuff that it shows. Really cool. Uh, Lunacus and Jump Raven and Titanic. And then it's got the... Uh, the like instructional booklet. So I'm gonna put that back in there. <laughs> and then finally on the inside, it actually, we still have the strategy guide, which I'm going to try and use as much as I can with this playthrough. But yeah, so. Dust in general is a great game. I think um, I, out of all the like Wild West games, this is probably my favorite one. Because it's just so unique. It's more of like a point and click kind of game, but it's just so great. Okay. So let me go ahead and get the game started here and we'll get started. You gonna see that bit? What about that fancy knife you got there? <laughs> <gasps> Look. 
looks like you lose it all, stranger. Looks like we got us a cheat at the table. The kid's been cheating all along. Oh! Ah! Run, stranger! Stranger may have bested the kid, but he had paid dearly for the privilege. He had no gun, no friends, had only a few dollars in his pocket. If he wanted to live longer than tomorrow, he'd have to find these things. Was he desperate? Let's be charitable. The stranger was, when we first met him, crow bait. Time and back didn't look like much either. Still, we had everything he needed to survive. Okay, so. Alright, so something I need to point out because this game came out for Windows 95. What do you want? You knock an eight pup of a desiccated sound <laughs> 95 grizzly? and 98. It's near on midnight. <laughs> Some of the uh, the graphics are like, they act really weird. So I can fix this, but it's going to be kind of a iffy recording experience to moving forward because this kind of stuff's going to happen regardless, but I will do my best. All right, there we go. So I sort of fixed the graphics, but moving forward, <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be kind of a sketchiest ex experience. What do you want? You knock kneed pup of a desiccated sow grizzly? It's near on midnight. <laughs> well, it ain't exactly Perry, France, now is it? Lord Almighty, man. This is Diamondback. Lord Almighty, man. Diamondback, New Mexico territory. In the year... Uh, in the year... 1880... 18... 80... 2. Yeah. 1882. Don't interrupt me, boy, else I'll whoop your damn ass. Diamondback? Yeah. If ever a pissier piss ant town existed, then I don't know it. Hey, hear that? This town is crawling with thieves, flim flammers, and lawyers. And from the looks of you, you'll fit right in. I'm awful busy, so talk fast! <laughs> I don't give a coyote as rosy red behind. Where are you from for the night? There's a hotel down there on Main Street. Find it! You ain't going nowhere, just like Diamondback. You stuck, boy. <laughs> you you stuck, won't boy. be a passenger stay through here for another three days. Ah, I need some food. I'm hungry enough to eat a scabby cat. Go on then, vamoose. You darn city fathers. Why they didn't bribe the railroad to get a train stopping here, I just don't just know. Don't know. <laughs> Out of my way, force it gets riled. 
Yeah, like, see on the bottom? It's kind of cut off, unfortunately. Wait for him to leave. A few of these things I remember. A few of these things I remember, but... Like, this stuff's kind of cool. <laughs> okay, let me make sure I got a save file in. Alright, so now we can take this guy. Warning, gunmen, thieves, and dance house loungers, get out of Diamondback and stay out, otherwise hang. <laughs> Firearms strictly prohibited. It's like, where the fuck did you come from? You weren't here. Just the homie, though. The dog. He is not happy to see Stranger. You won't get past him by being stupid. You. I'm calling you stupid. And you are. Brain like a quesadilla. Good night. You can't go forward without getting his help, so... Good. We know the brain is working. Now, use eyes. No, 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 no. no. I don't be impatient. I explain everything. Find a bone. Give it to the dog. Well, why are you standing there? Do I have to get it myself? Go, 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 go. Hopeless case. There is a bone. <laughs> Okay, so, let's make the dog happy. You're not so stupid after all, stranger. Help is glad to make your acquaintance. I own this shop. If you need help, come see me. Do you want more help, or do you want to keep moving? Now, take this old ring. It's a gift. Now go. The wife is going to be plenty angry at help to find me up this late. Good night. Let's go inside his shop. Yeah, this is pretty cool. Oops. And right here, it's got a... <laughs> Like a little Easter egg, I guess, before there were Easter eggs. I don't know. But yeah, you can view, like, the uh, the games. Oops. So there's some of their other games. Lunacus, Jump Raven, Skullcracker. So I have these two. I have Jump Raven and Lunacus. And then there's a couple games on there that um, they're not showing. So, like, there's Titanic, which I think came out last. was the last game that they did. This game... I have it, but I don't have a physical version of it, unfortunately. Skullcracker. And it's hard to get to work.
$500 reward. Yeah, I love the graphics for these old games. They're just, they're so cool. Because the gameplay for this is just so simplistic, but it's executed very well. What's the matter? Worry, worry, worry. Oh, you are okay. Stop worrying. Go make some money. Try gambling at the saloon. You don't play cards? No problem. Try the slot machine. You must leave the saloon with more than five dollars. Tonight is simple for you. Make enough money to stay in the hotel. Maybe somebody you meet will invite you home. Just find a place to sleep. What a genius. Uh. Explore the town a little bit. <laughs> Banging on people's doors at night. <laughs> Target range is closed. Come back tomorrow when we can both see straight. <laughs> back uh, off before I get your hands or head to play with. Ferret Chuck and Gunny Sacker? Alright. Let's go talk to Jack Lope. Hoo-wee! Stop right there. You new in town, ain't you? Hot dang! Jackalope Jones can spot a tenderfoot faster than a perspirating Palomino can of piece of shade. Welcome to Diamondback, Buckaroo. Sheriff? <laughs> there ain't no sheriff, at least one that's drawing breath. I'm a cowpoke, Buckaroo. Ride anywhere on the good night loving trail. Look from Fort Concho to Denver and you'll find no rider faster or smarter than Jackalope Jones. Sheriff? <laughs> there ain't no sheriff, at least one that's drawing breath. I'm a cowpoke, buckaroo. Ride anywhere on the good night loving trail. Look from Fort Concho to Denver and you'll find no rider faster or smarter than Jackalope Jones. No, I'm here a-courting a gal by the name of Mountain Laurel. Mountain Laurel. Woo-wee! She's got more independence than five Fourth of Julys. Throws off about as many sparks, too. Her two hobbies is smoking cigars and giving me hell. <laughs> Use a reasonating man, Buck. Use a bit slow witted, ain't you? Poor critter. I'd head for Una Canute's hard drive. That's the best howdy do in Diamondback. Yes, sir. Gambling and gals. An entire herd prettier than the ones on Levon Deadnettle's picture card. The saloon owner, Una's sharp as barbed wire and as tough as a Sioux war pony. Obliged. You need a gun, Buck. 
Diamondbacks full of lawlessness. I'd watch my step. This town's biggest manure piles walks on two legs. To outlaws, justice ain't no blind lady. It's a Winchester. Since you ain't totin' no gun, Buck, don't you take no risks. Pure pitiful. Let me think. Hmm. Everything's closed now. Use out of luck. The hard drive. I done told you. Buck, you's too stupid to be running around without firepower. Any time, Buck. Poor Buck. Whatever kicked you in the head kicked you hard. Yeah. Cobb and Dale Belcher. Them Cobb and Dale Belcher. Them the entire town. The Uni Tribe, till the cavalry done marched them clear to Arizona. Called it pacification. Dang, Hornswoggled was more like it. Soon as they left, some eastern outfit began prospecting on their land. Rumors they's reopening the old devil's breath mine for pyrite. <laughs> the mayor's behind it. He's so greedy he'd skin a flea for its tallow and hide. There was, till yesterday, when Sheriff Bill Purvis shot Croc Granger and his wife dead. We found Purvis in the boneyard, hung his cell. Who can say? They didn't do nothing. Old Purvis was right addled in the head. Combination of heat, dust, and Leroy's rot gut will do it every time. Jeez, Buck, for someone who ain't too smart, you sure do ask a lot of questions. Hoo-wee! At least you's bright enough to grasp the obvious. Diamondback's out of money, law, and luck. Be a ghost town soon enough. Put it away, Buck. You want Laurel to see you want that? Laurel to see? He'll have me hitched in no time. Moseying? See you around, Buck. Keep your boots dry and nose clean. Wait, Buck. Seeing as you's a few bales shy of a load, here, a little luck for the poker table. No, oh, thanks. Adios, amigo. Basically telling me to cheat. Alright, let's go into the saloon. Got five bucks, okay. You ain't been here before, have you, stranger? All drinks is a dollar, and I don't give no credit. Gus Talon is at your service. Talk? About what? You don't know too many Diamondback folks. Come back tomorrow when you've met some. Adios, I only got five bucks, so we don't have enough for a drink right now. But we'll get some money here in, in a second. High. All right, so before I talk to people... Okay, so in this, the easiest way to get money is the slot machine. You can do... Like, blackjack isn't bad, and um, like you can do poker, but I don't, I don't... I'm not good at poker, so no thanks. But slot machine, you just make a save before you get to the slot machine, and then just keep saving every time you get money. <laughs> Easy.
There we go. Cyberflix. <laughs> so now we got 24 bucks. All right. So let's exit. Okay, and I just saved. Nice, now I got 28. Ah, sour. Come on. Ah. Hey, how about that? Nice, ten bucks. <laughs> Just keep making a dollar back, son of a bitch. <laughs> Come on. Ah, oh, so close, you bastard. I have more than enough money, but I'm just trying to like get a couple things so I can play around. Hey, there we go. 35. Hey, 15 bucks, cool. Do it a couple more times and then I'll exit. It's addicting. <laughs> Come on. Last one. Okay, so when we have a little fun first, we'll get us a drink. If I can talk to him. I think I gotta wait for him to come back. Yeah, I gotta wait for him to come back over here. There we go. Hello there, friend. What do you want, friend? No problemo. We can deparse the driest throat. What do you want, friend? Milk? Like, what kind of drinks are these? Frothy prairie oyster daiquiri? I'll just take some Side rye. Jesus. Like, where's the whiskey? You notice my fingers? Didn't pour quick enough for a cowpoke all hopped up on mescaline. He gave me a tip for that. The tip of his machete chopped two fingers off at the base. They's repositing in a whiskey bottle yonder. But don't worry, I can still pour you three fingers of anything you want. Ha ha! <laughs> you should see, <laughs> see the, the two dancing. missing fingers. They pickled up right nice. Talk? About what? You don't know too many diamond bat folks. Come back tomorrow when you've met some. Bye now. I already seen three dead men this week. If strangers don't stop pestering me, I may see a fourth. Yes, sir. You've been out on the range too long, partner. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> You've been out on the range too long, partner. a fast hand of blackjack. Have a seat, cowboy. I'll give it a I'll try. I'll make it worth your while. I'm sure you will. All right, now. Place your bet. I like how the picture changed. Like, he's looking down like the poker face. Uh, nine? Because that's only a one, right? Hit me. So... Hit me. Damn! That's the way the cards fall. Another hand? Put your silver on the green, cowboy. You bitch. <laughs> Sugar, you just took the knock. Another hand? Come on, Wrangler. Make your bet. Nineteen. No way. You bitch. <laughs> Sorry, stud. You bit the dust. Let me deal you a new hand. Make your bet. Twenty. Yeah. Come on. It's like no way. Let's try it again. Put your silver on the green, cowboy. Let's try it again. Put your silver on the green, cowboy. Okay. So, I, <laughs> I had to reopen the game because it's like some of the dialogue is missing because of how the resolution is, unfortunately. So I can't see the bottom one to exit. So I'll have to see what I can do to get around that. But, in the meantime... Gentlemen, I believe we have another player. Herodotus Mesime, master of the cards, ally, and confidant, is honored to make your acquaintance. Care for a game of five card draw? No Goodbye. thanks. Not for me. Look here, boys. Another stagecoach Johnny's just walked through the door. <laughs> Cute, too. Hey, Johnny, the name's Una. Una Canute. I own this here cantina. What can I do you for? <laughs> Haven't seen a body that fast since Lola Montez worked the gold rush in Cali. I use fresh, all right. I blew out of Frisco and got my skirts caught here in Diamondback. <laughs> you sound soft, Johnny, and I like them hard, roughed up around the edges like. Try blackjack. But don't forget to read the house rules yonder. Who is Sal? My Kyoto man. He don't speak English none. And we don't know a lick of Japanese. 
but he makes himself understood all right on the piano. Ain't you the curious one? <laughs> Hell, Johnny, I've got the pickiest gals in the territory. Nobody's good enough for them. Don't expect you'd be any different. From the looks of you, you'll favor Ruby. Knock on room four. So long, Johnny. Remember, if you want to go upstairs, talk to me first. It's Sal. Give us a new number for the new number. As he plays the same song. What'll it be? Got the dinero, honey? It's ten bucks. Ten bucks, huh? Thank you kindly. Go on up. Jesus Christ and General Jackson, don't you know better than to come barging into a room, even here? Go away. What you staring at, cowboy? Ain't ever been in a gal's boudoir before? Go on now. Get! Oh, we're gonna talk to you. Look, cowboy, the only thing not for sale in this hurdy-gurdy is a gal's break time. You're crowding in on mine, so... Oh, what the hell. You're persistent, I'll grant you that. The name's Ruby O'Dowdle, cowboy. Let's take a look at you. You don't smell too bad. Is that a fact? You hungry? Remind me, I'll feed you some tomatoes. You could squeeze them, but not too hard. Tomatoes, you know they can go all mushy on you. Well, it would appear you know some pretty easy customers. Listen now, give me your attention. You know, cowboy, when I was 19, I left Ohio greener than May corn. Landed in Virginia City at the height of the silver fever. Had no money and I had to eat, so I hung my sign on the line. About a year later, Ben O'Dowdle married me. Took me to his ranch here in New Mex. The cholera took him seven months later. The bank took the rest three months after that. So, here I am. When I ain't pushing drinks, I'm pushing smelly cow hands out of my room. It might. When you find some hot water to put yourself in, let me know. <laughs> you know, I like you. Come see me again. We're closed in the morning, but use this. The saloon back door key. See you around oh, the prairie, thanks. cowboy. Oh, and I'd watch that gal, the singer in room two. Sophie's boyfriend's the meanest outlaw in the territory. Goes by the name of The Kid. He's <laughs> jealous and a crack shot. Not a good combination for good-looking studs like yourself. See you around the prairie, cowboy. Gilded cage, a gilded 
cage. Lay off the knocking already. I'm coming. What do you want? <laughs> Sophie. It would be singer in, is in room two. Her voice is reminiscent of a. What do you want? reminiscent of fingernails on a blackboard. Be kind though. It usually doesn't pay to insult the citizens of Diamondback. We asked Sophie about the other rooms. You learned that Ruby is in in room four. Keeps a gun under her dresser. When Sophie tells you that you should be nice to her, you may want to offer her help's ring. In return, Sophie gives you the key. Ah, okay. You can use what it to the saloon during the daytime. Mm -hmm. Maisie, she's in room three. She's kind of cute. But as for that shanty Irish slut, ha! If Ruby's so tough, why does she hide a pistol in her bedside drawer, I'd like to know? Her and her superior heirs. Sophie Della Casino, Toast of Della Seven Casino. Six, Two territories in Chihuahua, Mexico. I sing! Yeah? A lot of guys say that about me. Funny, ain't it? You a rich cowboy? You don't look like no rich cowboy. Got a light? I'm in need of some fire. I'm <laughs> in need of some fire. considering you ain't had a bath recently. Forget the Siggy. Maybe you should be nicer to Sophie. You going? That's all right. I gotta practice. Do, re, mi, fa, so. Shut the fuck up. Come back. Time, but you better be prepared to make Sophie happy. I can be plenty nice if you do. Come over tomorrow morning, why don't you? We could have fun. Know what I mean? All right, now we gotta find a place to sleep. like you could use a bath and a new pair of boots, stranger. In the meantime, would you settle for a cigar? Tobacco is the particular vice of the bloodstone hazes. I find it blunts Diamondback's sharper... <laughs> uh... edges. <laughs> you agree? <laughs> You're welcome. Looks like you could use a hotel. Follow me. We'll secure you a room at the cactus bed. The last word in luxury. I bivouacked from Marcato to Montana, but this fly blown flop house, a new low. Listen, they brag about their hot and cold running water. It is hot in the summer, cold in the winter. The food's inedible, the help invisible. Huh. It's a hayloft with a lobby. I'm not sure if I should tell you. It's late. Good night, stranger. Hope your stay in Diamondback is productive. And before I do that... Lands! A Christian 
can't even walk the streets without risking an accustation. I'm Mrs. Cosimo McIntosh, wife of Diamondback's mayor. What do you say to that? Then prayer, sir, is the immediate answer. Diamondback may be steeping in sin, but the temptations of the flesh can always be expunged. See to it. Once you're settled, please call upon the mayor and myself. I'll introduce you to Marie. Our daughter's quite popular. Everyone adores her, even Jonas Fearwith, the hotel night clerk. Okay, I gotta redo this. Okay, because there's ways that you want to do this. So let's go back to the hotel. I am not currently taking gentlemen callers, so I sure as hell ain't taking to you. No, wait. Wait a minute. I'm sorry. I don't know what came over me just then. My manner's my daddy's. He's a severe. Of the East Tennessee severes, and their temperament veers more towards bourbon and cantankerousness. I live high up in the bitter root where I've trapped and skinned about everything. I'm obliged to none. Mountain Laurel's a free woman. Who, Jackalope? Ha! <laughs> Baby Jackie don't have much of a say in what I do or what I say. You're smart. Anyone with half a brain can see it. But dangerous? Ha! Baby, I don't care to find out. <sighs> Guess I'll wait for Jackie upstairs. Glad you stopped at our hitching post. Good night, baby. Wait. I couldn't help noticing that your holster needs some filling. It's none too smart to walk around Diamondback without some protection. Here, take my bowie knife until you find something better. Thanks. Excuse me, stranger. We've just had a... just had... <clears throat> a vacancy. Yes, that's it. A vacancy. Only three dollars a night. Want the room? No problem. No problem at all. However, you'll have to pay for three nights in advance. Yes. That's usually the time it takes for visitors to realize their mistake and take the next stage out of Diamondback. Besides, since there's no other option, we can get away with it. Oh my, yes. You're in three, across from Mr. Bloodstone. Wait! Did they dispose of the body, or er, previous guest? Please, wait in the lobby. Patience, patience! I'll go check. Why don't you just relax?
All right. Uh, let's see. Pay the money and wait. You can follow McGill. You again? <laughs> I'm involved in many enterprises. Not bad, almost lucrative. Why, thank you. I'm unused to such flattery. <laughs> Continue. You know, you are not such a bad sort after all. Why, thank you. As worldly as I am, I rarely encounter such keen insight. Why, thank you. It takes someone of your intelligence to notice my brilliance. I see. You aren't that interesting either. Not bad, almost lucrative. Not bad, almost lucrative. I'm with Clark and Rothwell, agents for an Eastern Mining Syndicate, which wishes, for obvious reasons, to remain anonymous. Why? Don't be. It kills cats. And bigger animals. Monsieur, may I most humbly present myself. I am Buick, Buick Riviera, man of many plans. Et vous? So something kind of cool, this character um, is a reoccurring character, so he's also in Titanic Adventure Out of Time, the other Cyberflux game. No doubt, mon ami, you think Buick Riviera, he is from France. <laughs> and you are right. No, 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 no. I am, how you say, busted. But, shh. I do not publicize such information. The manager, Monsieur Firwit. He gets so excited if you have no money. <laughs> Did I not tell Monsieur that I have many plans? Nouvelle Mexico, like the young Nubile. She is paradise on Earth. I ache to possess her. <sighs> My father, the Duke, died defending France from the Prussians. Brave? Mais oui. Noble? Certainement. But smart? Pfft. He left me penniless. Regardez. I, Buick Riviera, man of many plans, end up in Diamondback seeking the monies. But of course. But of course. Making the exit, mon ami? Au revoir. Disaster! Miguel, pry that bullet out of the wall, will you? Yes, that one over there. Just a minute! Must have been the cat! Now, stranger, please. Oh my, yes. Go back downstairs. Your room will be ready very soon. 
There Go it goes glitching. Downstairs. Your room will be ready very soon. Stranger, it's ready. Here's your room key. Oh, before I forget, someone left you this note. Here. Going out again? Good night. Breakfast's at 8 sharp. We don't wait for slackers. Remember, you're in room 3. You want Laurel to hear? Listen, let's get some hooch and head over to the cockfights at the mining camp. You don't want to miss two chickens a whomping the bejesus out of each other, do you? Follow me. Alright, let me go see you cockfight. <laughs> Hey, stranger! Hey! Hey, stranger! You know who's talking to you, boy? I'm Dale Belcher, and I own this town. What do you mean? Why, you little scrawny ass punk. Alright, let's I see if I can fight you, him. You're gonna be colder than a cast iron Here's some action. Say your prayer, scrawny ass. There's the first death. <laughs> I think it glitched. That's okay, we'll fix it. So I don't know if you can beat him, but you can use a knife. Belcher and I own this town. What do you what's wrong with it, cow? Say your You gotta be able to beat him, that's crap. I'm gonna give it another try. Hey! Hey, straight! I'm. What are you. What's wrong, cow? Say. Ugh. Yeah! 
got his ass. <laughs> That's all for day one. Okay. Because there's a couple of different ways you can do the nights. Like that chick I was speaking to earlier until I loaded it, that's the uh, Macintoshes. It's like you can stay at her house or you can stay at the hotel. If you stay at her house, you can meet your daughter um, Marie and then so on and so forth. It's like Jack Love just left me. What a punk. Stranger, now out of here before I piss on your shoes. Hmm. So I wonder if I can just do both. <clears throat> Excuse me, stranger. Excuse me. I was just a seeing if there were some vittles and such in the slot pail for my boys. Since Carl died, I don't know how I'm going to feed him. Stranger, you got any money? Five dollars, maybe? Thank you, stranger. My boys, they thank you, too. Unless she's walking around, but I don't think so. Nah. Because, yeah, you can stay in their house, and it's like, there's like five different endings that you can choose from. Good night, stranger. I'm off to bed. Oh, wish the hotel had a decent wine cellar. I'd trade a box of cigars for a good claret. Good night, stranger. You can also sleep in the mayor's house by accepting Miss McIntosh's offer, but you can't see Belcher if you do that. I think that's not the best way. Alright. Monsieur, you Man, make the slumbers, no? Like <laughs> but before you fell me the eyes, could you spare a few dollars? One, no doubt, with skill from the local peasants. May the Virgin bless your little head. I, Buick Riviera, am forever in your debt. Monsieur, I feel I must warn you. Keep on the outlook for the bloodstone. Pah. That man, he has an eater of the merde. Au revoir. All right. So we'll go save and end it on day one. I don't think there's much you can do in here. Yeah, when we played this game when we were kids, uh, when you go up to hear him, like, truffling around the guy fixing the room before you can stay in it for the night, because he mentions a dead body, so... <laughs> We didn't see them remove the dead bodies, so we always thought it was under the bed. <laughs> As a desert wind rattled the lantern outside the old mission, the stranger allowed his mind to wander into tomorrow. Who would he meet? Who would help him? Would he find a gun? Some ammunition? Could he repair the hole in his boots? The kid would be coming and gunning for revenge. And the stranger wanted to be prepared. <laughs> All right, so that's going to do it for day one. Come and get it. 
That's the breakfast. <laughs> All right, so that's it for day one. So until next time, dust the tail of the wired west.